Jungle Joe, and look who I found in China. Hey guys, it's Jungle Joe. Glad to be back with you guys. I got lost along the way. Had to swim across the ocean to get over here to China, but I finally made it. And today, we're going to go on another trip. We're leaving China. Today, we're going where? To India. To India. And we're going to meet a really, really cool missionary whose name is? William Carey. William Carey. And William Carey is known as the father of modern missions. He was born in 1761 and he was 32 when he ended up in India to begin to share the gospel with the people there. So join us on this and learn all about William Carey as he is a phenomenal missionary that everybody needs to know. So we're gonna jump into our plane, we're gonna fly from China to India and we'll pick up there. All right, Jungle Jill, you ready? Yep. All right, count us off. All right, one, two, three. everyone thank you jungle jill and jungle joe for introducing william carey as y'all know i'm going to be talking about him today um and he was a missionary in india and he was also known as the father of modern missions he uh paved the way for a lot of other missionaries so follow me as i recreate the story of his life okay william carey is considered the father of modern missions he was born in 1761 in a small country village in England. William didn't get much of an education in school. However, he became an apprentice at a cobbler's shoemaking shop. While he was making shoes, William heard and accepted the message of the gospel. Eventually, William married a woman named Dorothy. <laughs> William took over the shoemaking shop. He was no longer an apprentice. While he built shoes, he taught himself Greek and Hebrew, as well as Latin, Italian, Dutch, and French. During his reading, he read stories of other missionaries and explorers who found people who had never heard about Jesus. Eventually, he would write a book showing that the Bible commands Christians to go all over the world and share the gospel with others. In his sermons, he urged Christians to expect great things from God and attempt great things for God. In 1792, William and Dorothy Carey, along with their four children, sailed for India as missionaries. It was a hard country to live in, and they did not have much money. However, William was determined to share the gospel and knew God was with him. He learned the Bengali language of India and translated the Bible to those who spoke Bengali and could read God's word for themselves. Over the years, William would translate the Bible into five other languages and parts of it into 29 other languages. He also wrote dictionaries and grammars to help the Indians study their own language. After seven years of sharing the gospel, William led one Indian man to the Lord. Over his 41 years in India, he led over 700 people to Christ. He fought against many social injustices and believed that a lot of the cultural, cultural practices of India were wrong because of what the Bible teaches. He started schools and taught girls to read and write, something that was not done in India at the time. Because of William's tireless work, many things changed for the better in India. In fact, schools and churches that he founded are still there today. His work also inspired many other missionaries who went to other places to share the gospel with people who had never heard the name of Jesus before. He truly is the father of modern missions. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you all um, enjoyed this story and are inspired by it. Bye.